Joey Chestnut wants to go for 70. Look at Matt Stoney go. Look at Matt Stoney to Joey's left, to the right of Joey as you look. Matt Stoney is popping out ahead of Joey now in the early seconds. He knows that Joey is very, very strong. The competition is now underway. You saw the rules. They're really simple. Eat all the dogs you can. Keep them down. Do it in 10 minutes. Joey Chestnut, a child of the East Bay, known worldwide for his uh, prowess here. He actually grew up watching the Bash Brothers. He said they inspired him as a youth to become a competitor. He didn't know he was going to become a competitor in hot dogs, but he did. Uh, Chestnut, Janice, and Megatoad. Pretty much what we thought, but here in the early going, you're going to see a lot of different names there because everybody tries to jump out to a real good start. Chestnut, though, is the strongest right now. You see that wide shot, the weapons of mass digestion gathered here in Coney Island. There is Matt Stoney, a challenger. Matt actually beat Joey in the Asparagus Eating Championship. Joey was a rookie. I came out of the Asparagus Circuit to Major League Eating. Stoney is on his heels. Can he do it in hot dogs is the question. And uh, Megatoad Stoney, he comes out of the West Coast, Matt out of the Stoney San Jose now. area, very it's much like Chestnut. Chestnut. So he's got right someone now, to follow, Stoney and he may be one of the heir apparent when Chestnut dog. steps down. But Joey says, 70 hot dogs. That's what I want to eat before I retire. If Joey hasn't quit yet. He'd like to break his own record. I think just the seventh win to be good. But boy, Stoney is keeping pace right here. And that's what it is. Once again, you know, can you hang tough throughout the first five minutes and get a pace and a rhythm that you're into? Stoney and Chestnut still right together. Chestnut steps ahead for the moment. Janice has fallen back. That's a little surprising this early on. Expected him to stay pace as well. Well, Eaterex Janice is a veteran. He's ranked second here a number of times. I said it at the top of the show. It's like Phil Mickelson at the Open. He struggles to get to that first place spot, but he's done 52 and a quarter. He's got a personal best of 53. He is in the running here today, but it's been a tough season for him, off, off season for him. He broke up with a girl named Helen Haggerty, who was a field hockey player at Bryn Mawr College and his, and his first true love. Still neck and neck between Stoney and Chestnut. Joey and now we're coming up on a pretty here. critical moment here. At the 27th hot dog for Chestnut, he will go through a major barrier. It has never happened before. He'll hit the 400 career hot dogs here on the corner of Surf and Stillwell. It is staggering, 400 career hot dogs. It's six and a quarter contest. One to go. Six straight victories. Stony 9.4 dogs per minute. And he's working it now. And there it is. With that swallow, history was made. And now we pop that quickly up to 28. Joey powering on here. His courage is on display. His stomach is stretched like a pair of Lululemons on a Kardashian. He controls his limbic system. It does not control him. He wants seven. He's putting some room between him and Stoney right now. The game plan for Joey Chestnut is 45 dogs in the first five minutes of competition. He's 30 right now. This guy, Ronnie Hartman, is a uh, active uh, U.S. Army specialist. He just came off duty in Afghanistan. He got a sponsor's exemption. He, uh, he did the contest down in Atlanta. He impressed everybody. He's a great American. He fights for our freedom, so they brought Ronnie here. Appropriate. Here, the 4th of July. We thank him and all the military everybody. for their service. It and was. you know what? Historically, George Washington's army passed right through this intersection when they were running from the British into New York. Look at that jump right there. Six hot dog margin now. So Joey Chestnut now at 35. Stoney has fallen behind. Renee, could this possibly be part of Joey's plan with his new coach? Well, yes, a familiar face is missing this year in the splash zone, and now Joey is relying on another competitor for his coaching. She just so happens to be his girlfriend. Nestle Ricasa is taking over for Joey's brother, who is serving in the United States Coast Guard. But, you know, even with his absence, I think the two of them and this crowd is just the support. Joey needs to take seven. It's a little new help for Joey. It's beautiful to see. It's like seeing uh, Gwyneth Paltrow at a Coldplay concert, always by her man. Another benchmark coming. Remember that Joey was looking to 45 dogs in the first five minutes. He's only got eight seconds to go. He's four behind right now on his pace. 
There is a reason that Joey Chestnut is at 41 right now because he's the best. There is a reason he's ranked number one in the world. He is the tamales, ice cream, gyoza, gyro, bratwurst, salt potato, and horseshoe sandwich eating champion of the world. I don't even know what a horseshoe sandwich is, but he's eating like six pounds of them. Hey, if it's out there, they'll eat it and they'll compete at it. Joey is great to watch. Now look at the, he's got now six between him and Stoney. Janice falling behind Stoney is kind of a story. The notorious B.O.B. at 25. He's surrounded by people, 40,000 people, all of his compatriots. Talk about the crowd here today, huh, Paul? They all came out to see whether he can make history. Can he string together seven titles? Matt, the megatoad, Stoney, representing the younger generation, Tumblr accounts, flat rim hats, insurmountable student loan debt, all the optimism of the Morrissey song, and he's doing well today, 38. But already, Joey really distancing himself. About 45 seconds behind his anticipated pace, though, as Chestnut goes through 48. We count into the final four minutes. Dog per minute for Chestnut, 7.8. Stoney down at 6.4. Just a little off for Chestnut, I believe, from last year. He's got 3.45 to go. Don't give up on Joey. He's got a good lead right now. He possesses a Ron Swanson-like dedication to all things meat and America, and that is what we're celebrating here today with this great, great athlete. Megatoad, Matt Stoney just goes through 40. On his blog, he said part of his plan was to consume over the two days here, over 100,000 calories. <laughs> well, it's a good food city, and Coney Island's a great food town. I know models that don't do that in a year. <laughs> just a search in a Marlboro Light, please, for lunch. There he is, Joey, look at that. I like the shot with the crowd in front of me. You can see Crazy Legs in the shot watching from the sidelines now. Just a, three minutes left, Paul. This is a man who has put in his time, Joey Chestnut. This is not Bubba Watson melting down in his caddy. This is not Mark Sanchez dancing in a hotel room in Calistoga. This is Joey Chestnut. This is Tom Brady watching tape. And on his way, possibly to history. Seven championships in a row. Two minutes, 43 seconds to go. It's just a dedication, you know? He puts in the time, he watches his tape. What does he do now? Does he go for the record? You know, does he go for the record? He's, he's not far from it. Two and a half minutes. It really comes back to that DPM. You know, how many dogs per minute can he do? He's running a little behind on the DPM. The temperature, they're under bright sun. Temperature right at 90 degrees right now. It's blistering out there. Oh, check Crowd that. starting to urge him on. Renee, what's it like up there? The energy is crazy, and Joey's keeping on pace right now. He's obviously leading, but he was. It was a harder road to Nathan's than expected. He hurt his ankle early in January, wearing a brace, trying to keep that ankle light. It's kind of affected him only because he wasn't able to drop as much weight as he wanted to before coming here. It's not affecting him now, and I don't, I don't think it will to get to the championship. These counts, I think, are unofficial, Paul. I think Joey's about yeah. to hit 60 if yeah. I'm looking at the stage. Yeah, right. don't count that number on the screen as we come under two minutes. Joey is right at 60 right now. Joey's 60, so if he can get... He was, I think, the last we checked, he was at a high seven, low eight minute dog per minute count. Can he maintain that? It's funny, I'm worried about can he pull this seven title, but the fans would like to see a new record. 62 dogs, you see it on the sign for Joey Chestnut with a minute 17 left to go in competition. A minute 17, and Joey has a comfortable margin. You know, Dennis one Rodman wants to be, seconds, wants to win the Nobel Peace seconds. Prize. I would give it to this man, Joey Chestnut. He's about to string together seven straight mustard yellow belts. And you know what, when you see him, when you meet, look at him there. He's six feet tall, 210 pounds of weigh in. He'll put on about eight pounds during the competition, but he's slight of build. He's not a heavy set man by any means, and most of them are not. Here we go, the final 45 seconds. Just three quarters of a minute from history. If he can keep it down, keep his poise, we will see history made here in Coney Island. Pittsburgh Steelers, Boston Bruins, Michael Jordan, they all have six titles. Chestnut's going to break through to the other side. Closing on his record, which is 68. He has 66. 25 seconds to go. It's impossible. 20 seconds. 19. 67. 67. He's looking to at least match the record. He did that last year. 15 seconds to go. Sonya did it at the very end of her contest. He did it. And he pressed the record.
269 hot dogs and buns. Joey Chestnut takes seven in a row. Suck Joey a Chestnut, unbelievable. Unbelievable finish in both the female contest and the men's contest. Of course, the headlines will be across the globe. New world record, 69, and a never before Joey seen seven straight belts. Chestnut! And once again, from Nathan's famous hot dog stand at Surf and Stillwell, the contest, the historic contest is complete. History has been made. The record has been broken. And Joey Chestnut now has seven championships in a row.